Hello my fellow gamers, this is Shadow once again bringing you more Dark Elf goodness where we're going to go this time through all the infantry options in their roster. So if you haven't seen the previous episodes, I've covered the Lords and Heroes and the Magic of the Dark Elves as well as many other videos for all the other races as we go through every unit, every ability, every spell that they've got. So in this one we're just going to go through all the missile and Im norm melee infantry. So we'll start with the basic, the Bleak Sword. Um, pretty simple, 450 gold, they're shielded, so they have the silver shield which blocks, I believe it's 55%, yep, of course they've got the murderous prowess as well, can hide in forests, and of course if you guys want to see the stats in more detail, you can pause the video for the units you want to see, and give it a check over, so 450, they cost around about 20 to 30 to upgrade each level, and if we go straight to the top level, they cost 657 and that improves their leadership, their melee attack, and their melee defense. So, that's the bleak. Then we go to the Dredge Spears. So these are your basic spearmen. They're shielded, they're anti-large, and of course charge defense against large foes. They have, yep, so as expected, they're pretty similar. 450 for that, um, I was going to say anti-large, but of course no, they're 450 as well. Um, they cost around 20 to 200. 20 to 30 and actually 657 to get them for the leveled up I love these compared to Lords and Heroes these guys are so easy and quick <laughs> it's it's good so next we've got the Black Arc Corsairs which are 600 gold to begin with they have the Sea Dragon Cloak which I believe is given better armor and they have anti-infantry as well um yes bonus for infantry does it say what that does Provides a very light yet incredibly sturdy material for armor. Okay, so they probably just have better armor than the normal guys of 80. Pretty good. Um, to rank that out, again, between 20 to 30 go to go up each level. And once we get to the final level, they cost 846 <clears throat> at their best. I see the leadership's gone up, and the attack and defense has gone up as well. Next, we've got the nice witch elves. Um, 800 to start with. They're dual dagger infantry, so they're anti infantry. Mur Madness of Cain, um, they've got Murderous, Mastery, and Dodge. So, the Murderer Madness of Cain is they can rampage, and then I believe that lowers the enemy's melee defense and speed. Melee defense by 10%, and, and speed by 24%, lasts for 16 seconds. So, that's really nice. Um, of course, they've got Murderous Mastery, which is a more improved version of the Murderous Prowess. They've got a physical resistance of 20%, and of course, they've got a good old classic Frenzy. To upgrade these guys, they're between 30 and 40 gold, I believe. Yep, fantastic. And at maximum, they're 1,098 each. Damn. I'll say that. These ships are shot up, so is their melee attack and defense as expected. Then we've got the Hark Gunnif Executioners. I do like the executioners. They're, there. They're great short infantry, armoured, armour piercing, anti infantry, and mas murderous mastery, as you can imagine. So they're really, really deadly. Starts at 1,200 and takes between 40 to 50 go to upgrade them. Beautiful. 1,602 at max level. Next one, you've got the Black Guard of Nagaron, which start at 1,300. They're armoured, armour piercing, but these are anti large, but the others are anti infantry. Um, they only have the murderous prowess instead of the murderous mastery. They do have immune to psychology as well, which is quite good against monsters. Actually, that makes sense. So these are the guys you want to send it against, like rat ogres, the um, hell pit abomination, dragons, that sort of thing. Um, each level forty to fifty by the looks of it. Round about that. Maximum cost one thousand seven hundred and twenty eight. Now we'll get on to the missile infantry. So these are the dark shards, your basic archers for 600. Um, they have armor piercing missiles. As you can imagine, they've just got the basic murderous prowess. Each level is 20 to 30 gold to get them up. And at maximum level, they're 846. As you see, the missile damage is shot up. So it has the melee defense and attack and their leadership. Very nice. Then you've got the dark shards with shield. Funny enough, are shielded. So they block. 55% of the fin. They are 50 gold more. Now, unless you're being really cheap, I see no reason why you would um, 
In fact, let's put this to the test. What? Okay, so their melee attack drops by two, but their melee defense goes up by six, and they get their fifty-five percent shield against small arms fire. So you know, handguns, um, archery, that sort of thing, boats, all that sort of thing. So honestly, for the fifty gold, why would you never take these? It's yeah, I don't see why you would never take them, to be honest. That 55 can make a huge difference if you're in a um, shootout against other archers. That can make a huge difference. Anyway, so um, between 20 to 30 to upgrade to each level. Um, and as you see, 909 at full rank. So that's quite cheap, really. Um, as you see, the missile damage has gone up. And so has the melee defense and the melee attack and the leadership. Pretty nice. So then we have the Black Arc Corsairs with hand bows. So they've got the Sea Dragon Cloak and they can fire while they're moving. Um, see, that's pretty much it for them. 750, well, the 75, so you're paying 10 gold per guy. That's pretty cheap. And around for the 30 mark for upgrading, and you see fully ranked up is 1,035 gold at their best. You then have Shades. Now, these seem to be very popular with a lot of people lately. Um, 900 basic. Armor piercing, they can vanguard and they've got stalk, so they're perfect for ambushes, absolutely perfect for it. Um, and when they've got armor piercing, you can just focus on the elites of the other army. Normally, you have the elite guys at the back or on the flanks, and you have the cannon fodder at the front, so these guys can get around the back and the flanks and just shoot at the um, rear of the enemy. So, 30 to 40 to upgrade, as you can see, and maximum rank is 1,224 coins. We then go, you got the Sage with dual weapons. So, not only their armor piercing, they have anti infantry vanguard deployment and stalk. So, these guys not only have weapons, they can cut you up as well, which is really scary. But that's why they cost 1,100 gold to use. And of course, they cost between f around the 40 mark, 30 to 50 gold each, and 1,476 in total to max that out. Finally, you got the Sage with great swords. Oh, good. Reefs so armor pierce and anti infantry vanguard deployments. <laughs> wow, okay, then. Um, and obviously, the Sotra armor pierce and their arm. Wow, that's just awful. But again, that's 1200 points for a single unit, that's a lot of points to use up. And they cost between 40 to 50 to rank up each time and can cost a total of 1602 altogether. So, there we go, that is us covering quickly over all the infantry. All their costs, their abilities, and of course you can pause it to look at the stats and see what they do. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this series. It seems to be doing quite well, quite popular actually. A lot of people are coming on. Um, so obviously hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other episodes. Because I've got some great ideas coming up. Um, including really themed armies to go over the war. Especially with Skaven because they're my favourite race. So anyway, thank you all for joining me. I hope to see you for the next Dark Elf video. Till then, take care.